Well, businesses are losing money and forced to charge people more. The reason, they say, is the president's trade war with China. The tariffs the Trump administration put on China's goods in May has one Northwest Arkansas store owner feeling the pinch. Chelsea Helms tells us the pressure he's under and why you may start feeling the financial stress next in the Fox 24 special report. These 194 pages detail the Chinese products that are slapped with a 25% tariff when imported into our country. It includes items like mattresses, buttons, even chandeliers. As this trade war continues, economists say there's no end in sight and worry it could push the U.S. into a recession. Tariffs. That's a sensitive subject. Take a look around Sam's Furniture Store in Springdale. Everything we have in our store in some form or fashion now is imported. The Made in the USA sticker only tells part of the story. Everything you see or even don't see from cushion springs to decorative rivets has at least some piece from China. I would love to say everything is made in the USA 100%, but it's not realistic in today's world. With a 25% tariff imposed on $200 billion in Chinese imports, owner Joe Donaldson is now paying extra for his products. But really, it's you who will ultimately pay the price. The retail prices you see here now on this have been raised to offset that 25% tax. The way Donaldson sees it is the 25% tariff is a tax on the front end. Normally, if he's invoiced $1,000 on a sofa, he'll mark it up to $1,599 retail. But with the 25% tax, that cost of the sofa goes up to $1,250. So to get his same margin of markup to pay his overhead, he now charges $1,899 or higher for the same product. I didn't pass that full effect onto my consumer. I don't have a choice but to pass some of it on. We're having a little squabble with China because we've been treated very unfairly for many, many decades. President Donald Trump says there's good to come from these tariffs because higher costs on Chinese goods will inspire people to buy somewhere else. He hopes that means making similar goods right here in the United States. One person doing just that is James Smith. He's the owner of Springdale-based furniture store James and James. The things that we buy sustainably, uh, that are that are from uh, you know domestically produced, we're supporting those people as well. However, at this point, Smith says he hasn't had any new shoppers in response to the tariffs. I can't say that we've seen a any particular uh, noticeable lift that we're attributing to you know these tariffs, whether it be competitively or whatnot. Does it hurt China more? Sure. But at the end of the day, if we lose three limbs and they lose four limbs, we're still out of a lot of limbs. This trade war is costing families thousands of dollars, and economist Mervyn Jebaraj worries it could lead to a recession. With a larger burden going to American families, Jebaraj says they'll be forced to stop spending as much. The tariffs that we've already had imposed on Chinese products last year uh, added about $800 to the average American household in additional costs. But this, it's going to go up to about $1,200 annually. In fact, he says this wipes out any money you got from the Trump administration's new tax plan. And I'll see these economists saying, oh, give up, give up on China, give up. China's been ripping this country off for 25 years, for longer than that. And it's about time, whether it's good for our country or bad for our country, short term, long term, it's imperative that somebody does this. Earlier this month, a trade war was essentially reignited with President Trump promising to impose another $300 billion in tariffs, essentially taxing all Chinese imports. Even with no resolution in sight, Donaldson is already planning for the trade war's end. If they were to go away tomorrow, the first thing I'd do is run one really big sale. <laughs> Several other items you likely have around your home or purchase regularly are also included on that tariff list. You can see what they are by heading to fox24news.tv. There you can also find out when the Trump administration will begin imposing a tariff on an additional $300 billion in Chinese goods. In studio, Chelsea Helms, Fox 24 News.